back. So, my wife and I are on the Dyna on our way to a Polish festival. Uh, if, uh, if we're friends on social media, then you're probably already aware that I married a Polish woman some uh, 20 something years ago. And uh, yeah, well, she's half Polish, uh, quarter Romanian, and quarter Hungarian. So the whole Eastern, uh, Eastern European brew. And there's a Polish festival going on not far from our neighborhood right now that she made me aware of. And if she makes me aware of something, that means she wants to go. Now, I'm not Polish. Uh, I don't really like Polish food. I, the Polish beer isn't very good. Uh, some of it's okay. But for the most part, no, not really. Um, but I do love Polish women. And I do particularly love this Polish woman, so we are going to a Polish festival. Hayabusa from hell, extended swing arm, the whole nine yards. <laughs> that dude was crazy looking. He did not look like your average Hayabusa rider at fucking all. Not even close. Basically kind of looked crazier than shit. But we'll go see some some Polacks. Now, I grew up in northern Michigan and it was chocked full of Polacks. I mean, we used to go to the Pose and Potato Festival every year. That's that's a big Polish festival. Uh, like half of everybody you knew was Polish, at least. But out here, I haven't met a whole lot. All right, sweetie, we're at the Polish festival because you're a dirty Polak. <laughs> a glass equals six tickets. I don't know what that means. Yeah, it's, the tickets are fun, so. We get uh, 12 tickets. Uh, two beers. Beers? Yes, beers. It's like a like a family reunion. Fuck the shitty flea market. <laughs> you can tell it's not an Irish festival. Because we've been here for 15 minutes and there hasn't been two fights. <laughs> Good old ham tramic. My least favorite jail I was ever in. Oh my god, you come from a strange people, sweetie. expecting yeah yeah uh, plus it's fucking the prices are this yeah. is not a six dollar beer <laughs> all right leaving the polish festival and now we're gonna go and eat some polish food uh, eastern european food it's kind of polish uh, russian uh, Ukrainian, Czechoslovakian, Romanian. Can't walk 
past all those vendors and not eat something Eastern European after all that. So tomorrow morning, me and Logan will go ride some dirt bikes with uh, my buddy Josh, who I haven't seen. It's probably been four years or more uh, back in the skating uh, Chandler Skate Park with the Old Man Army days. But uh, that ought to be a good time. Uh, Josh was always a really good dude. I didn't even know he was into dirt bikes. Uh, he kind of wasn't on Facebook for a long time and then he started posting again and oh, holy shit, he's riding dirt bikes. So we're going to meet up with him and uh, looking like Baldizi is going to come and ride with us again tomorrow. So it ought to be a pretty good time. I got, uh, well, we, Logan did a whole bunch of the work. Uh, we uh, tore his carburetor apart, got it all cleaned up, got it uh, working properly. So his bike should be running good. I didn't redo my carburetor. I probably should have. Uh, I just kind of cleaned the float bowl out pretty good and called it good. Uh, basically because my wife wanted to go to a Polish festival and uh, yeah, know if my bike runs like shit tomorrow I'll just deal with it one way or another um, and I was I'm having really bad clutch issues anyway so I got a feeling like uh, this week I'm gonna end up having to tear that bike apart so no point in, in tearing it all apart right now if I'm about to anyway so Eastern European food the soup and sausage 7th Street and Thunderbird just north of the point Eastern European food, namely hunter stew and pierogies and meat pies and Ukrainian beer. Ooh, we got a beautiful sunset going on though. And it's just an absolutely beautiful day. I mean, it was like 75 degrees here in, uh, on March 2nd. That's about it for my coverage of the Polish festival. I don't know why that guy was laying on his brakes if he was going to go for it. We're almost home. And time to be done for the night. We have a fire, drink some beer. So, everybody have a great week.